I grew up to study the brain because I have a brother who has been diagnosed with a brain disorder, schizophrenia. So I dedicated my career to research into the severe mental illnesses. But on the morning of December 10, 1996, I woke up to discover that I had a brain disorder of my own. I woke up to a pounding pain behind my left eye. And it was very unusual for me to ever experience any kind of, of pain, so I thought, okay, I'll just start my normal routine. And I looked down at my arm, and I realized that I can no longer define the boundaries of my body. I can't define where I begin and where I end. And I'm asking myself, what is wrong with me? What is going on? And I'm thinking, I've got to get to work. I've got to get to work. Can I drive? Can I drive? And in that moment, my right arm went totally paralyzed by my side. Then I realized, oh my gosh, I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. And then the next thing my brain says to me is, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. And I'm listening to the phone, and my colleague picks up the phone, and he says to me, and so I say to him, clear in my mind, I say to him, this is Jill, I need help. And what comes out of my voice is, <laughs> so he recognizes that I need help, and he, and he gets me help. When I woke later that afternoon, I was shocked to discover that I was still alive. I felt enormous and expansive, like a genie just liberated from her bottle. Nirvana. I found nirvana. But then I realized, but I'm still alive. I'm still alive, and I have found nirvana. And, and if I have found nirvana and I'm still alive, then everyone who is alive can find nirvana. And I pictured a world filled with beautiful, peaceful, compassionate, loving people who knew that they could come to this space at any time and that they could purposely choose to step to the right of their left hemispheres and find this peace. And then I realized what a tremendous gift this experience could be. What, what a stroke of insight this could be to how we live our lives. And I thought that was an idea worth spreading.